Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Jim Audio Groove Rider GR16 and it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to explain and demonstrate how you can use the quantize and also the automation tools in uh, Groove Rider GR16. As you have seen, it's uh, quite a, a remarkable groove box full of functionality and uh, really powerful. Before I start, please do subscribe. I still have quite a high number of uh, viewers which are not subscribed. If you do, uh, it will help to grow the channel. Thank you very much. So let's start. I just launched uh, uh, Groove Riders GR16. Let's um, click play on this user pattern number three. So it is initialized and uh, it has only a drum kit as a sequence. So um, as you know, and as I explained in one previous video to select part, you can either go to the trigger view here and select one part, or you can, uh, if you are in another view like the sequencer, hold down the sequencer button again and then choose the pad to move uh, to that particular part. I explained this in a previous tutorial, but for simplicity, let's go to trigger, select the first part. Let's go to keys now, and let's try to create uh, a short melody for the purpose of showing you the quantize function. And hopefully I will be bad enough to create something that needs uh, quantization. So I'll click record and then play, it and I will record something. Okay, so hopefully that is bad enough. Let's click on the edit and we can see a few things happening there. So first thing I'd like to do is probably go to this tab here. Okay, go to keys and remove that D because that was a mistake, right? So if I want to quantize now, let's exit the edit screen. Let's go to the menu. Let's go to utility and the first one will be quantize part. So I click on it and it gives me a number of options here. I can quantize the start of the notes, the length or both. So let's do the first one, edit. So let's see how it sounds like. Okay, not too bad. Let's see if we can quantize that length for this particular note here. Menu, uh, ops, I need to exit the edit uh, screen. Enter, utilities here on the menu, quantize part. Let's do note length. Let's go back to edit and you can see the length now of this note is being quantized. Okay, let's leave it uh, there for now. So you can use, um, you can use uh, the quantize function to to really quantize them, um, start and uh, length or notes as you please. Um, I want to show you also how you can clear that. So if I click and I hold the shift button here, and then I press where it says here, copy, I will action the clear function. And here will give me a number of options to clear the current bar, all bars, the part automation, which I'll show you in a moment, and you can initialize the part, also the sound only of that part, which can come really handy. So um, for now, let's clear the current bar. Okay, let's click play. And we hear only uh, the uh, drum uh, on part number nine. So let's go to keys again. And let's record something else again. Okay, let's go to edit. Okay, that's not too bad with the exception that these notes here it would have been better if it was on the first step. So let's remove that. Let's go to the first step, press that and note D and then we go to the length here and we change the length like that. We don't worry about it if it's right or not because we get on, we can go to utility and quantize the start and uh, length of note. Okay, that sounds good enough. Now let's go to the next part, part number two. Okay, and um, exit the edit um, menu. Let's go to wave 
And let's select an instrument. And it goes to instrument here, and then let's choose um, a bass, a synth bass free, like so. Okay, let's go to keys. Okay, let's record quickly a, a part for that bass. Okay, let's go in edit mode. Okay, it's not too bad, apart from this note here, that probably it would have been nicer if that one was uh, on the previous step. So we just remove it, uh, goes to the previous step like so. Let's click play. That sounds good. Well, good enough for the purpose of the tutorial. Now, let's click key and uh, it will default to the selection of the key for the for the scale but don't worry so click again on the keys and then let's go to part 10 which contains the uh, snare let's go to the sequencer and add that to part 5 and 13 and, and that's good enough for now showing you the automation part of the tutorial so there are different ways you can record automation so the easiest way is really to hit uh, um, record and play and then move the controls and then we record them. So let's try. Let's go to um, part um, number one, why not? And um, let's try to modify first the phase and detune and see what it sounds like. Not so much difference. So let's go to type here for filters. Let's go to low pass filter. Let's increase the resonance there and let's play with the cutoff. That's better. You say you will hear that a little bit better. So let's click record and play. As you can see, the automation has been recorded for the cutoff dial. Now, one thing to, to which is really cool, if you go to the edit here and you click on the cutoff button, it will show you the automation with these yellow line and it will say here at the bottom right, filter cutoff, which is really nice, isn't it? You can also uh, modify um, step by step that automation and the way to do it is you click and hold on a pad when you want in, in sequence mode here under uh, edit, and then you modify, then you alter the position of the, in this case of the cutoff uh, filter. So let's try. We are on the first step, click and hold the pad here, and now I change the cutoff. And as you can see, it has moved up. And of course, you can use that to actually create also an automation for the cutoff um, from scratch. So let's cl click and hold shift here. Let's uh, select clear and let's clear the part automation. It will not go straight away on the display, but if you click on cutoff, it has definitely gone. Okay. So let's do it again. Let's create that automation, but let's do it step by step. So we go to part one, click and hold set the uh, now cut off to this level we go to part number five here click and hold and then the cut off like that you can see the line here forming then we go to part number nine or step number nine sorry and then we um go up a little bit more then step number 14 and then we go down like that there you go let's click play Okay, it's really nice. And of course you can continue like that. So let's, for example, activate and insert effects on that part. Let's increase the intensity. Let's choose the type. Um, I don't know, let's try, for example, uh, why not this um, tremolo? And I'm just really try and see what it sounds like.
Okay, so for example, you can use that and say, go to the modulator type, scroll down. You can modulate a lot of things for pan, level, pitch. But the one I really, really want now is, for example, the LFO uh, for insert effect. So you can modify that. So you can go and click on that. Uh, exit from uh, clicking on type again for modulator. You can increase the depth here. Unless why not record them um, a bit uh, of glide differences. Let's try first. Okay, record, play. Okay, let's click on stop. Let's go on edit. And again, if I click on glide, you see the automation here. If I click on cut off, you see the automation for filter cut off. Okay, so this is really nice. The other thing you can do, you can also uh, record automation for uh, MFX as well. So for the master effect, let's come out from the edit mode. First thing I want to do is go into the menu and select pattern. And then let's scroll down to the bottom here, it says master effect, stereo delay. Let's choose something different. Uh, I don't know, let's try... Why not the decimator? Yeah. Let's come out from that menu. Now we can click record and play and change here um, the recording for master effect. So let's try record play. And as you can see, I have recorded uh, a master effects automation here. Okay, and again, if you go under menu and you go um, under utilities, you scroll down here, you have an option which says clear MFX automation. You click on it, click again to action it, say yes, and it will clear the automation. Remember, you have to reset the value for that master effect. <laughs> And of course, master effect comes also very handy because under pattern, you could choose, for example, to go for a reverb, right? so, like so, and then uh, select a position for that master effect, click on uh, hold here uh, to set the position, and now you have a reverb. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we have gone through how to quantize note start and length. We have seen how to automate different controls of Groove Rider GR16 and how to delete that automation. We have also finally seen how to record master effects automation and clear that as well from your pattern. Um, see you next time. Bye.